it's me, Ginger Budgie Baker, at my desk with another haul. I don't know, kind of got some few different type of items. Um, I only got one piece of clothing today. I didn't really see anything that stuck out to me. I saw a lot of basic things. I tried to pick things that are a little more, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't see anything. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. So I think I spent like $38. $40, something like that. So, yeah. So, uh, so I got this stuff, of course, on Monday. It's my favorites. It's half price. Today is Tuesday. Um, when I'm filming this, um, I'm a week behind. So when you see something, that was what I got last week. I know you don't care as long as you see good shit. I mean, stuff. <laughs> Boop, sorry. Um, Hey, you don't care. I don't care. But I am going out to my daughter's this evening to have dinner with her and her friends. And uh, I'm going to hit a Savers on the way over there. Um, that is 30% uh, off for senior day. I'm old. Give me stuff. So, yeah. I mean, I don't get over to that one very much. So my daughter's like, let me guess. You want to come on a Tuesday? Okay. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't have a ton, but... I got some good stuff. So this first thing I already opened, I don't even know what this particular item is. There's two items in here I really wanted. Is this, oh, it's a, it's a magnifying glass. Oh. And I think it lights up. So this might be, yeah, mini magnifier. So, and it's, <laughs> you know what? When you're in a stage in life when you have to have it in a little container, you gotta put it on your belt loop. That's, that's something. So it had that in it, and then it had two of these. One I've already given him, and then he laughed and gave me a dirty look. But we are of that age. Good gracious, they stapled it to the top. This is a lighted magnifier. So I might use this in my office. The only lighted magnifier I have now is a jeweler's loop, or lope, whatever you want to call it. And that one is for really getting up close, so I thought this might be good. You know, a lot of times I do the trick of taking a picture of something and then, you know, looking at it. So, yeah, so I gave him one. I think it, I don't know if it's got batteries in it. But, yeah, so I, you know, I, ha I need everything in my arsenal. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed is a lot of the shirts that don't have a sewn-in tag anymore, they're stamped. And those start to wear off over time, so it's hard to really look at it and look at it in the light and figure out, you know, what the size or what it says for the fabric. But these were in a bag for a dollar ninety-nine, so I only paid a dollar. So it's like what thirty-three cents a piece? Not too bad. They had several of them. They had a whole bunch of like two of them in a bag, so they must have got a a lot of them. I got this Mallard Duck. I don't know, I like to have kind of more, you know, realistic looking uh, animal figurines. And ducks always seem to do really well. Uh, he's, look at how his, his little foot skis there and his standing on the wood. I just thought he was adorable. And he was only $2. So I might put him either by the animals or I'll put him uh, by my uh, men's stuff. I did not get a chance before I got up to the registers to to dig this out and look at my batteries and see if it works, but uh, it was only $3, and it's this nice clock. It's very heavy. Um, it only takes uh, a AA battery, so I will, uh, and it's glass. Some of them are, are more of the, uh, you know, the plexiglass, but people love clocks. I've been doing so well with them. I, in fact, I had those two that I took out that were silver, like the silver frame, and I was like, oh, should I really put them out at the same time? And I'm like, well, I have it here, and I have the room, and they both sold within a few days, so, okay. So, yeah, I don't think this is any particular make, you know, special maker, but, you know, when you pick up something that's kind of heavy, you have that, that feel of quality to it, so that's what I thought. Anyway, um... This was in a bag, so it's a flower uh, wind chime. It was only two seventy nine, so dollar six dollar forty. Yeah. So it's all in there. So if there is an issue with it, I I got lots of string. I could restring it. So so yeah. So there's that. That goes out to my booth. 
I saw this adorable salt and pepper shaker and it has salt and pepper in it because I'm feeling the bag and it's it's gritty in there but they're just these real base I don't want to open it because it's gonna make a mess but yeah, I just thought those were cute just little speckled ones so $2.79 again $1.80 I thought these would be cute for a little boys room I'm kind of considering maybe putting these on eBay I don't think they're they're not special as far as they're branded but these would look great in a little boys room or in a big boys room <laughs> So for a dollar, we have a red dump truck. And then uh, this one had, this one's $3.49, so I paid a dollar, 30, 40, 50, I don't know, whatever. So one is a John Deere-esque <laughs> tractor. Of course, they can't brand it that way, but I thought that was cute. I always think of you, Ann, when I see these, Ann Eckert. You know, and it's funny, because I don't know, my dad was, my dad and my grandfather were international harvester the big red uh, tractors and then we have a bulldozer I remember when they were putting in new sewer lines years ago where we used to live and uh, they were uh, had the big heavy equipment you know digging and putting the pipes in and one day the one you know had the scoop it was lowered down to the ground and I let my son go out and stand by it so I could take a picture of him but he just he would stand by the window just like glued to the window watching them he just loved that stuff. He was little, of course. <laughs> um, these two signs are brand new, funny enough. And I saw two other ones that said something about a Christmas tree, and I was like, okay. And then I saw these, and I thought they were cute. They have this real pretty wooded frame with this beading look. And it says, the kitchen is the heart of the home. So I got two of those. They were both uh, $4.99, so half price, I got them both for $4.99. I don't know. People like kitchen stuff. So those will go out. I don't know. I might just put them out separately. Put one out and then wait a little bit and then put the other one out. I don't know. Um, 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 I cannot stop buying court cages, but I kind of need to stop buying them. They're not selling as fast. I get it. Stuff comes and goes. But it's just so cute. So it says corks and it's got these little yellow and orange beads on them. And then the bottom, of course, uh, opens up to let them out. Just trust me on that one. <laughs> so this was $3.99, so I paid $2 for that. I love the metal section that has all the metal-y stuff, because I almost always find something there. This was only $3, and it's it's all metal, and it's this very cute uh, dress form. So it's got little hooks and things on it, so you could just use it for decoration or you could hang jewelry on it. But I thought for $3, that was pretty good. The uh, probably put $12 on the court cage, and then this probably $14 or $16. Um, I don't, I used to find these all the time, and then for a while they kind of didn't sell, and now I don't find them as much, and they sell. So I always keep my eyeballs open for them. I mean, it's a pretty good size, too. I don't know, I'm not super crazy about these, but they were cute, and I do put my nautical stuff out in the summer. So this particular package was $2.79, so I paid, what, $1.30, $1.40. And they're, they're solid wood, though. They're fish. So I don't know what kind of fish that is. I live by, like, Lake Erie, so we have certain fish I'm used to. And it's funny, because then they stand like this, or like this. <laughs> but they're all wood, so I thought those were kind of cool. So I don't know, maybe I could even... This one looks like he's sticking his tongue out. <laughs> Is this one like that? Yeah. So, I don't know. Even if I could maybe take um, some, uh, you know, sandpaper and just kind of rough them up a little bit, I think they might even look a little bit better. So, $1.40. So, I basically paid $0.70 cents for each. So, yeah, they're nice and heavy. So, there's two fishy. Two fish. One fish, two fish. Um, I did find a couple of mugs. We had our mugs located in a different place in the store. It's a long story as to why it was there, but we don't. I don't have that anymore. So I kind of thinned out the mugs, and I have one shelf that's got a thing to hold the Keurig cups and then little cute little signs that talk about coffee and being awake. 
And then I have a little metal shelf that I can put mugs on it and under it. So it's kind of a nice little vignette, if you want to call it that. But I've been selling mugs, like more than I got just a little and they're selling. So I do look for mugs that are different or have some kind of local, you know, local connection. This one says the Cle Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And it has this, uh, I don't know what kind of dinosaur that is. I mean, I could say it's a T-Rex, but I might be wrong. Dollar forty-nine. so I paid 75 cents for this. It's green inside, it looks very new. So this should do well. And then I have Crazy Cat Lady. <laughs> and then it's got a cat on the other side. And that one looks new as well. Uh, I don't know, buying anything from a museum is not cheap. So I thought that would be pretty good. And then this one says 10 Strawberry Street. Never heard of it, but uh, that was, well, this one was $2.49, so I paid a dollar and a quarter. So these would probably be five, six bucks a piece. So I'm keeping just like maybe, I don't know, like six or seven mugs is kind of all that'll fit. So, you know, I'll be able to refresh because when I was out there last time, I really had to kind of like spread everything out because a few had sold and I didn't have anything to replace it. So when I went Monday, I'm like, I'm going to make sure I look at the mugs. People like things that are metal or ornate, and especially if they're old, ornate, and ornate for a basic use. You got all that? You got all that? So when I saw this, I'm like, I don't care what people put in it, they'll buy it. So it's basically this, it's for crackers. So it was a whole $3.99, so I paid $2, and it has these grape leaves on it. But I thought that was really cool. Here's the end. Looks like a basket. And it does have a mark on here. Let me get my, everybody laughs when I get my eyeballs out. This is Arthur, Arthur Court, 2002. So it's not really even that old. I mean, 20 years, 22 years, it's still vintage. But, you know, somebody will buy this. They'll put their makeup brushes. Maybe they'll put crackers. Who knows? But definitely this will go. Anytime I got, you know, the ones that have like a little stand and slots for letters, any of that stuff always really does sell well at my store. So I think this will be the same thing. There's lots of things you could put in there. Um, I did find this newer uh, Vera Bradley purse, but it is not the, the regular quilty fabric. And uh, the marking on it is newer. So there it says Vera Bradley, and it's like a like a canvas. I really like this. I have a real plain, I have a real plain brown purse hanging up. I have a cool strap on it. So oh, I'm a little tempted. This was only $4.99, so it was $2.50. So it's got a zipper here, like a side pocket, and then one here. And then it's got a pocket inside, and then the top, more pockets. But it has this, um, I don't know, it's almost like a cottony kind of fabric. So it's a crossbody, basically. So, and it's floral. I don't know. I'm tempted. Wouldn't that be nice for spring? Oh, and it's got a pocket on the back side, too, that is just like a, a magnet closure. So, yeah, I'm going to look this up and see what it does. And then I'll make a decision if I'm going to keep it or not. I, You know, it's funny. Years ago, when I was, like, in my 20s and 30s, Man, I would change purses more than I change my underwear. Too too much information, huh? But I mean, I was always like, oh, that's cute. Moving my stuff over. My husband would say, where's your purse? I'd say, oh, you know what it looks like. He's like, no, you keep changing it. So recently he said that. And I said, I've had that same purse for probably a year and a half, two years. You know what? I, I think I got it before the pandemic. I bought a new strap for it. I'm so extravagant. So yeah. I will look this up and see how old it is and what it's going for. But it's funny, I think when it comes in and the people are just sorting it, they're like, oh, that's just a purse. They think of the, you know, the puffy quilted, you know, paisley. So maybe this somehow got missed. I don't know. But I was happy it was missed. I tell you, there's a, there's a certain few women there that they're, they make a beeline and they're just, I mean, they fill up. So I don't know if they resell or if they just <laughs> like purses. I don't. I uh, got this very heavy metal uh, ginkgo leaf decor. Yeah, it's really nice. So that's what a ginkgo biloba leaf looks like. My neighbor, where I used to live, uh, had one in, her, in the side yard. 
So this is $6.99, so I paid $3.50. I don't know, I'll probably put, I would say, 16 to 18 on that and see what it does. I don't buy as much decor stuff like that as I used to, but I don't know, when I see something that looks kind of different, I'm like, yeah, I'll get it. So the last pile, after I show you the one item of clothing I got, was they had a bag of fabric and then a couple pieces of fabric. So I'm gonna show you that, but I wanna show you the only dress, it was a dress of all things. This is a woman within, it is a 2X, it was $7.49, so it was $3.50, $3.60, 3 And here's what it looks like. So it's kind of like this top over the rest of it, and then it's angled. So I thought that was kind of cute. Short sleeves. It is very heavy, I'll tell you that. So <clears throat> that will be washed. I literally washed, dried, hung up, and photographed and uh, wrote out the papers that I stick on them. So my, uh, I literally have like, I had four huge bags of all these shirts. So I, I've been listing, listing, listing. Somebody told me recently, they're like, I'm like, I'm running out of hangers. They're like, get more hangers. And I'm like, no, I will not get more hangers. That's my, my signal to me that I'm like, okay, I'm almost out of hangers. I gotta, I gotta get this stuff moving. Cause I kind of go back between listing clothes and then listing hard goods. So, you know, I kind of stack up on one, then I do it. And then in the other time, then the other ones are stacking up. So, okay. So the first one was a bag for $4.99. So I paid $2.50 and there are smaller pieces in here. So I have to kind of look through them and see, you know, what's worth selling. So we have some plain white fabric. Don't, don't poo-poo on the regular, you know, straight colors of cotton because a lot of people who sew, they want plain colors too to go with, you know, ones that have a pattern. I love these little itty bitty flowers. It feels like there's a good yard or two on there. There's a whole bunch of pieces of this uh, white with the polka dots. I have a plain blue. One big piece of the cupcake, so this definitely will, will cover the cost of that whole bag. Uh, more flowers. This one is soft. It almost feels like a flannel. And then the matching yellow with this little strange piece there. And then it looks like a small piece of upholstery fabric that's got uh, palm trees and other delightful things on it. And then this one is going to be kind of hard to fold or roll in such a way that people can see what it is. It was only $2.49 and it is uh, 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 from the movie Cars. But look how big the print is on these. So I don't know, I might have to roll it so that you can see the eyes or something. Or I'll just write it on the label, you know. Because usually when you're rolling or wrapping stuff, you know, people can basically see what it is. But to have something with such a big print, I'll write it on the label when I put the measurements. This stuff is nice. People always like this. I've sold it before. It was $2.49, so it was a dollar and a quarter. And it's basically just this, you know, writing French, Le Jardin. Yeah, I took French. I don't know. I don't remember much. <laughs> I was good till we started conjugating verbs, and I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> now, this one, it's funny because these two were kind of, they were like stuck together. They were on the same hanger. And then when I got up front, I realized they were separated, but they just said, you know, just take them. So $2.49, so I paid a dollar and a quarter. And we have two different kinds of black and white. This one has the flowers. And then this one kind of has the framed look. So there's probably a good yard and a half on each of these. I sell my fabric in my booth, basic fabric, for $3 a yard. If it's an upholstery or it's a little bit wider, um, in fact, I'm gonna show you that because I, I unwrapped one and I was like, oh. So usually uh, most fabric comes like 45 inches, 44 inches. So when I opened, it's not that one. When I opened this one, I was like, so here's the, well, here's the fold of the fabric. What am I doing? I'm getting all confused. So yeah, when I opened it, it's you see the cut edges, and then you have the fold, and then you have the finished edge. And it was much wider. So I'll go a little bit higher, 
you know, if I have a yard of upholstery fabric, I'll do like just four or four fifty, and then the wider ones I'll add fifty cents or a dollar. So I will get all these ready and wrapped up. Uh, my fabric is, I don't know, for a little while it kind of went down a little bit, and then I kind of pulled a little and put some new, so I think I generated a little more interest in it again. I don't know, you know, it, it, reselling, especially in a physical space, you're constantly, you know, moving and changing and moving stuff up front, and then moving it in the back. And it's, it's, it's funny, because you'll have something and then you'll like, you move it up front and then it disappears like you just brought it in, so I don't know. You know, not everybody goes and looks high and low and leans down and under stuff. Because, you know, you have a booth and you have prime location, which is right at your eyeballs. And everything else is kind of not paid to, not paid attention as much. That's why I brought in a fan that I have oscillating and it's blowing on my wind chimes. Because a lot of people weren't buying them because they just were like, oh, I didn't see them. So you hear them. And then my soap, I also have at nose level. Because people go, wow, what smells so good? It's like the soap immediately to your left. So that is all I got. It's not a lot, but you know what? That's okay. Probably going to find more stuff today. So I think it's 30% uh, off senior day. You have to be 55 or older on Tuesdays. So, yeah. Because the coupons you get, even for donating, only end up being 20%. So, Okay, well that is all I got. I'm going to get going. I'm going to see my girl tonight for a little bit. She's cooking something, I don't know. But it's nice, you know, just a little bit of time to go out, maybe source a little and relax. I'm taking a book so I can sit because she gets out of work in probably almost three hours. So got to kill a little time, you know. So I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching all 21 minutes and 53 seconds. I do appreciate you tuning in and watching. I know some of you guys like to tune in and it's like a chit chat with me. I appreciate that. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, I just went on break from work. <laughs> and here you are with a new video. So it seems like my schedule here recently has been Monday and Friday. And maybe I'll throw in one on Wednesday, but at least two videos a week and three o'clock. So that's what I do. And of course, this Friday, I will, I'm not working at my store, finally. So I will be going over to the bins again. So I have a video for this Friday that was from last Friday and then another one. You know, I just can't stop going. I mean, I want to provoke, you know, provide good content. <laughs> so please, I'm always making a push to please uh, share my videos to your social media. E even if it's just, you know, a video about, uh, you know, a particular how-to, like I do the bins or other things. If there's somebody you think uh, in your circle on Facebook or your social media that might enjoy my content, I do appreciate it. It does help me and it helps my channel to grow. And now the dogs are barking. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.